Shower room sub level six. I think this dungeon has seven or eight sub levels. Can't remember. All right. Orange bolt warps are honestly the least of my problem at this point. Why is it every time I break a gate down, there's just a Wawiwog staring at me with red eyes like, I will kill you. I will kill you. you. You're so dead. I'm gonna hit you with my glitchy hop. Maybe I'll kill you, maybe I won't. I'm gonna give you some false sense of hope. That's what I have to say about you. Harvest your corpse. Oh, great. There's an orange bulb orb over there. That's not good. This screams there's a trap inside. Oh, it's a full rubber ducky. We got a rubber ducky head in an earlier dungeon, but this is a full-on rubber ducky. All right. Wah, wah. All aboard the rubber ducky express. 90 Pocos, it is the Rubber Ugly. How dare you? He's a cutie. That's Ernie's Rubber Ducky. Ah! That is a Volatile Dweevil. That is one of those bomb spiders that can just fall out of nowhere, chase after guys, and if you're like me and have leaf purples, they literally will not be fast enough to outrun him, and he'll blow them up. And trust me, if you think that's that's the first and only volatile dweevil we're going to see... <laughs> Later dungeons will literally just drop them on you, like, probably 50 in one floor. Volatile dweevils! Also known as what, the thing that makes your rage quit. So it looks like this dungeon, at least this floor, will be taking just a solo captain running around trying to trigger all the volatile dweevils away from our Pikmin. Wow! Sure! It's just right off the bat. Let's just throw the orange bulwark at us right away. Everyone's still alive? Good. Alright. Now we can loot the corpses. Yep. I'm pretty sure the devs of this game didn't know what good difficulty was. Like, as I said before, this... Y if you didn't know what this was, you would have, like... The later dungeons, you would have gone around thinking, like, Wow, someone made a sadistic ROM hack of Pikmin and made it stupidly difficult for no reason. It's like, no, this is an actual Pikmin... Ah! Oh, wait, okay, okay. Okay, that's not a Volatile Dweevil, that's an Anode Dweevil. Still dangerous, but less so. So, Anno Dweevils are electrical, so we're gonna want our yellow boys. Oh, I see you in there. So here's what the Anode Dweevil can do. You can electrify everything around him if, you, uh, if you're if you mean to him. That's why you only want Yellow Pikmin around him. Snapple! 
The abstract masterpiece. <laughs> That's Snapple. Alright. So that's the Anno Dweevil that's triggered, but we need to still trigger the Volatile Dweevils. And hopefully find a small smack rule of nectar. Alright. You guys can stay here, I think you'll be safe. That is, I believe, a... Munch Dweevil? Maybe? What the butts was that? That guy just jumped like five times farther than he normally does. Another Anno Dweevil. There we go. That's the Volatile Dweevil. Hey, blow up the frog. Not me! What the heck? I got stunned by nothing just so I could get blown up by that. Purples, I guess. We have one flower purple. So, help me if you got crushed by that. You freaking got. I freaking hate leaf purples. They are the slowest creatures in existence. Like. Flower purples, best Pikmin in the game. Leaf purples, some of the worst Pikmin in the game. They can't move. <laughs> They're growing from side to side as much as they are up and down. Shower room, you're not going to beat me. I will triumph. place to get white Pikmin. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust that for two seconds. Oh, hi. Yeah, again, but as you can see, even though it's the same sub-level with the same stuff, it's in a, it's arranged in a different pattern. Thanks to the random algorithm. Oh, that's a doodle bug! They will poison your Pikmin by leaving those little plotches behind. But if you... But you can get potentially get bitter sprays out of them. And nectar. Ugh! I know he's getting poisoned! Stop telling me he's getting poisoned and let me unpoison him. Emergency! Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with me, you may be able to help them. I know. Did that freak... It despawned the nectar, I think, but... Or no, I bet my Pikmin just drank the nectar. The purple drop you see contains refined ultra bitter essence. One drop contains one dose. Use it on the hostile creatures. Approach... Yeah, and... Okay, that's good. So we got the bitter spray out of the doodle bug. Some of the Pikmin hogged all the nectar for themselves. But at least I have ne dug on it. Like, none of the purples got it. Okay. Yep. Can't, I don't think this is actually a munge dweevil. I think the munge dweevils are the water ones. This purple Dweevil here, it has poison powers. Kill him already. Just kill him. Just kill him. I'm throwing you on his head. Come on. Yeah, so he can he can unleash a poison spray if you anger him enough. But thankfully, you can whistle the poison spray away. You cannot whistle the electricity. <laughs> oh boy, another Snapple container that I already got before. Yay. Oh, 
Ah, oh, it's good to have more bitter spray. Okay. Oh no, so that's a bumbling snitch bug? That guy, instead of picking up your Pikmin, is going to pick up your captains. Which is arguably even worse. That's not good. Olmar is really close to dying, and I cannot have Olmar die. I, I cannot have Olmar die. I will literally have to reset if Olmar dies. Ah, stop it, you stupid bumbling snitch bug! Okay, great, yeah, let's... Oh, are you serious? Guess we're using a bitter... No, I didn't even get hit by him. Looks like we're going to be using a bitter spray on the freaking orange bull orb. So they just basically took everything on the floor and lumped it all in one place at the very end. Alright, well let's take out this guy first. Because he's the one that actually poses a threat to my Pikmin. You know what? Yes. You can just hang out there. That Dweevil, I think, if he's picking up that carcass, will not bother us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the dentures. Yep, he's so this guy just grabbed Louie. And I don't want that. He's too freaking high up in the air. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, oh no, 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 I see what you're doing over there! Freaking Wally Wog's like, oh, perfect time to stomp on your fun! Yeah, the lower half of someone's jaw. The behemoth jaw. 100 Pokos. Freaking, that freaking Wally Wog man with his stupid red eyes is just like, I see you and I will kill you. Look at that, he's. He's not even turning away, he's literally just staring at me. Well, that's not good. Yeah, the Bumbling Snitch Bug just injured Louie heavily. Both of my captains are basically on Death's Door, which is not good. Alright. Just get that corpse out of here. I don't want to deal with it. Weevils can hang out and have their fun. Okay, you know, you know what? Yes, please, please do that. That's fine. I can. I'm perfectly happy to let the Dweevils just carry corpses around. All right. I do want some more whites. This is actually really bad that both my captain captains are injured. We need the captains for the boss. <sighs> Alright. Normally, I would go purples here. But unfortunately, my purples are all leaf, which are too slow to deal with the freaking Wallywog. So we're doing everybody but purples. Please get out of the way, dude. I don't want to deal with you while this Wallywog is attacking me. Don't. What do you do about that? He jumps in the air, knocks a Pikmin off right beneath him, and then lands on him and kills them. There's nothing you can do about that. I don't want to do a stupid bitter spray on this guy, either. It's not worth it, but... This is what I mean when the Wallywogs are some of the glitchiest enemies. Like, sometimes they just crush your Pikmin and there's nothing you can do about it. 
Like, that red Pikmin was on top of his head. He jumped up in the air, knocked him off. He fell directly through him underneath him just so he would get crushed. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, no. Great! Well, that shows up what happens when somebody needs a poison Pikmin. Intriguing, the creature swallowed symptoms of poisoning, showed symptoms of poisoning after consuming the white Pikmin. Perhaps white Pikmin excrete a poisonous substance when chewed. How fascinating. Why would you throw an orange bulb orb right next to the start so you can't react to it in time? Man, sub-level 6 freaking sucks. This is this is just a taste. Just a taste of the sadist, sadistic level design we're going to see later on. Trust me, it gets so much worse. Oh, no, it's Shower Room sub-level 8. Oh, wait, no, it's Day 8. It's sub-level 6. My bad. I know they're being poisoned. You don't have to tell me. I can see it with my own eyes. No! Those t two Pikmin drank them all for themselves. Yes, I've seen that before. At least my captains have more HP now, but still. Why is it no matter what floor we're on, the Wally Walk just stares at you from wherever you are? It's super annoying. It's kind of creepy. Pikmin swapping is not very good in this, either. Like, sometimes it just will not let you swap to the Pikmin you want. And also, oftentimes you'll swap to, like, it's like, I want purples out. It's like, okay, well, you only get one, and then it'll swap to a different Pikmin type. Oh, great. I hate it when the orange bulb orbs are facing you while they're asleep, because that means you will not be able to get the jump on them. Uh, I was about to be like, what the heck is that? It's the corpse of an orange bulb orb. That's what it is. triggered the trap, so now he can go this way. <laughs> oh, sweet relief. That's the next floor. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not relief, because we can't go there yet, but... Alright, we're gonna... 
Oh yes, please pick that up. How many times have I gotten this freaking Snapple can before? <laughs> it's still for any Pocos! I know that. <laughs> Fun fact, did you know that sub-level 6 was not playtested? It's like, I, I could tell. As a matter of fact, I could tell. Oh wait, that's, that's the Dweevil, that's fine. Dweevil, you can continue just doing your thing. get that out of there. I have a plan. I'm gonna wake the guy up, and then run away, so he'll go back, but this time he'll be facing the wall, so I'll be able to get the sneak attack on him. <sighs> that is going to be very annoying, having the freaking bumbling snitch bug with this giant orange bull orb. That is going to be kind of unfair. Okay, that's not really what I wanted him to do. I want him to be facing the wall. If I could, maybe I can lure the bumbling snitch bug this way. That would be nice. Nope, he runs on. <laughs> I've kind of trapped the orange bulwarb over there. That's interesting. This is, this is not going to be fun. Okay, so no matter what I do, this guy's going to head over here. Alright. Think it's going to be time for an ultra spicy spray. Take him out of here. Don't bring them close to the freaking little guys. Good lord. Alright. Still one in the water. So I'll have to deal with the one in the water with the blue Pikmin. That should be it. I don't care about the dweevils. Cool. We got the elite team of blues. There we go. Good job, gentlemen. Take the rubber ducky back. I don't care about those corpses. I'll leave them there. Omar, charge over to the exit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate sub level 6 of the shower room. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> And it only gets worse.
Well, I don't know if the shower room only gets worse, but the game really only gets worse. Boy. There we go, there's the freaking rubber duck. So the rubber ugly. I still think he's cute. There's another treasure. There's another treasure somewhere. Okay. Was not expecting that. Hmm. Oh, is there a branch off from the main room that I never went to? Oh, that's right, the fake dentures. I don't trust that tunnel for one second. Oh, that's right, and you can turn Pikmin into white Pikmin. Last treasure, now we're really done with the room. Yes. At last. All right. Delve deeper, yes, we're finally done with the cursed sub level six. Oh dear lord. <laughs> I hate that floor! But we made it through it unscathed at last. Shower room sub level seven. Is this the boss room? Could be? All the rooms look the same. Okay, thank goodness. Not sure what to expect. I'm not sure if this is going to be a really easy boss to do no deaths, or if it's going to be really difficult. But, at the very least, at least our captains are somewhat alive. <gasps> oh, thank you, yes. Oh, yes. Starving us. Now we, there we go. Now we got the flower Pikmin that we were looking for. See, I don't mind if the, yeah, I don't mind if the eggs fall from the ceiling. I just, I mind if enemies fall from the ceiling. Ooh! There we go. Two more sprays. <laughs> Where's the boss? So there you go. Over there. So there's a giant version of the fane we fought near the shower room. So the little one was the toady bloister, this is the raging bloister. This thing is a... Uh, a puzzle boss. <laughs> so, 
Same with the uh, Toady Boister. You need to hit its onion vein. And if you are too close to it in the front, it'll hit you with its weird ton veins. And the ton veins do hurt. And you'll also see that it's color coding for um, it's, it's going after me. Now if we swap over to Olmar... Now it's going red and going after Olmar, so it'll cor a color corresponds to your captain. So it'll only really go after one captain at a time, and just constantly try to destroy it. So we need to utilize both of our captains to our advantage. So, for this fight, I think I'm only gonna really take... No, I don't want... I don't really want blues. Or whites. I really want the reds, and I want the purples. How did I end up with 36 of red? I should have... I'm confused. Okay. Yeah, so what we need to do... Kind of lure him over here? As Louie. Swap over to Olimar. Then rapid attack his tail. Now again, the nice thing is... He'll never actually go after your Pikmin. He'll just keep going after your captains, so... Just keep switching between the captains and then attack his Pikmin when you do the switch. me for a second there, buddy. I thought you were going to try to attack my Pikmin before the swap happened. And this is why I wanted both captains alive, and why I didn't want them either one to be taking a lot of damage earlier. Because if, uh, if he keeps attacking your captain, you're going to take damage. It's not going to be nice. And once again, the main problem with this fight is just his weak point has a weird hitbox. But there you go, Raging Boister dead. Okay, so he wasn't too hard. And here we go. Ooh la la. Très chic. Processing. How odd. The gooey creature dissolved, leaving this curious item behind. It appears to be coated in slime. Are you sure you want to collect this? Absolutely sure. He'll toss just about anything in my hold. It would be nice if you cleaned occasionally. I want it, though. Okay, that was it. Alright, that was an easy boss. Some of the remaining bosses in this game are going to be really easy, and some of them are going to be really hard. I think the hardest, part, the hardest parts of this game are not going to be the bosses. I think it's going to be the random floors that we have to go through. Nice job, Louie. Way to hold down the fort. <laughs> Way to be live bait for him. Alright, here we go! It's the boss treasure of the shower room. The Amplified Amplifier. This shape is well suited for the emission and amplification of sound waves. A moment, please. I shall use this as the final part in my new sound equipment. The Mega Tweeter is done. Captain Olimar, this device has increased the acoustic range of your whistle. So you saw our old whistle. This is our whistle now. Look at how much of a radius it has. Alright! Shower room is finally done. <laughs> Let's leave. Yay! Oh, Lord. <laughs> I 
I didn't think the shower room was going to be that annoying, but, well, there we go. Still no deaths after all those resets. Yay, cave complete. Yes, I would love to save. That would be lovely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I want to do an easier dungeon now. <laughs> Doodle doo 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 doo. Seventy percent of debt recovered. We we skipped right past sixty percent. We're now at seventy percent. Hurry, gather your Pikmin. They're already gathered. Oh wow, Toady Boyster has returned, and now he just hovers over air. He doesn't even need to swim. Oh. So at this point, I could go back to Awakening Wood, attempt the dungeons there, which are definitely easier. Or I could try to do Submerged Castle! <laughs> I don't really want to do Submerged Castle, though. Everybody go back! Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ironically, shower room was very draining. <laughs> All right, it's today's report. We got a lot of treasure today. Dream material amplifier. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we got a lot of funds today. We got almost three thousand funds. Yeah. So our red pigment count went down. So did our yellow Pikmin count, but that's okay. Because we still haven't had any Pikmin die. Day 8. Olivar, you're my hero! You've erased half of our debt! Still, feats have become a bit dangerous, so I'm going into hiding. Focus on work, and don't slack off! Well, those all-devouring black hole loan sharks, uh... You gotta, you gotta watch out for them. <laughs> 